here we are adding mixed numbers with different denominator the first thing you do when you're adding mixed numbers when you're adding or you're subtracting mixed numbers it's different when you're multiplying but when you're adding and subtracting the rule is the same first thing you do is to put away the whole numbers these are whole numbers these are the fractions these are the fractions one out of ten two out of five is fractions these are whole numbers whole numbers fraction a mixed number is a whole number and a proper fraction okay so we put away the mix the, the whole numbers first we had them together seven and three is going to give us what seven plus three equal ten we we'll leave that aside then we want to deal with the two fifth and the one tenth that's what we want to deal with now in this particular case where you have you're adding two fractions with different denominator what you need to do in a we're going to do it both ways in a we can change this five to a ten to make both denominators ten you always want to change the smaller number to be like the bigger number you don't you, you don't want to change the bigger number to be like a smaller number be careful of that always change the smaller one to be the bigger one all right so in this particular case we are going to multiply this fraction by a number and whatever you do to the numerator you have to do it to the denominator we're going to multiply this fraction by 2 to get it to be um, 10 if we use 3 is going to be 15 if we use 1 is going to be 5 if we use 4 is going to be 20 the only number we can use to make 5 10 is 2 so we multiply it by 2 we multiply the bottom one by 2 2 2's 4 2 5 10 plus the, put back this one which is 1 over 10 now we have 1 over 10 all we need to do is to put back the 10 right there and then we had both numerators and this can be further reduced to one over over two to a half all right well, let's leave that there for um a second don't want to give you too much to do now so just look at the five over ten let that stay there for now all right i'm not asking you to reduce that now i don't want you to be confused all right so leave this as five over ten okay this is part a this is option a let us look at option b in option b it remains the same all right you have seven let, let me rewrite the entire um mathematical expression for you three and one over ten okay all right let me rewrite it from scratch so we're starting over from scratch seven plus three we're going to separate the 7 plus 3 equals 10. Uh, I did not finish with this answer. This 10 over here, you have to put it back. All right? And then you put the fraction beside it. Because when you're adding mixed numbers, your, your answer is going to be um, a whole number or um, a mixed number. All right? In this particular case, you have a mixed number. So put back the 10 here and we put the fraction beside it. You have to put them beside each other. You don't separate them far apart. They need to be beside each other in order for it to be a mixed number. Let's jump back over to here where we were before. All right, so 7 plus 3 equal 10. Whole numbers, then we have what? We have the fractions by themselves to deal with. All right, let's deal with the fractions now. In this particular case, we are going to use LCM, lowest common multiple. All right, and a multiple is a number multiplied by any positive integer. Positive integer is from one to whatever number. All right, not zero. Zero is neither positive nor negative integer. So, what are the multiples of five? The multiples of five are five one, five, five twos. 10, 5, 3 is 15, 5, 4 is 20. What are the multiples of 10? 10, 1, 10, 10, 2 is 20, 10, 3 is 30, 10, 4 is 40. What is similar in both these multiples? 10 here and 10 here. All right, so we find that 10 is the lowest common multiple in both. 
So 10 is a number which both denominators can go into without leaving a remainder. First thing we do is division and multiplication. 5 into 10, it can go 2 times. We multiply it by the numerator, which is 2. 10 can go into 10 one time. We multiply it by the numerator. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. When we add these numerator, we are going to get 5 over the denominator, which is 10. So remember to put back your 10. Your answer is going to be 10 and the fraction 5 over 10. If you notice, you get back the same answers, right? You get 10 and 5 over 10 in in A, and in B, you get 10 and 5 over 10, whichever way you want to do it. You can use the LCM, or you can just change one of the fractions so that both denominators are the same in this particular case. It all depends on which option you want to use. You can use both if you want to practice.